Okay, so here we are. We're going to start the process off with winterizing an RV. So you want to locate this panel on your trailer. It's going to be on the outside wall. Uh, probably not the door side, but it doesn't mean that it can't be on the door side. But I think most of them it's on the opposite side. And then you want to locate that bolt right there. That's the camera's not picking it up. This one right here, right there. It's kind of rusty. Might have to replace this guy next year. And I've got an 11 16 socket, and I'm going to back that off. And what that's going to do is it's going to empty the uh, hot water tank. And we want to have the hot water tank completely empty when we put this away for the winter. So step one: empty the hot water tank. Back off that bolt. See the water is coming out, and this water would have been in the hot water tank, and this will take a few minutes to drain. So we'll let this drain out, and we'll head inside to start setting up. The plumbing antifreeze so we can run up to the lines. Next, once we're inside the trailer, we want to locate the pump, the water pump. The water pump is important because what we're going to do is set up the plumbing antifreeze to this and we're going to turn the pump on in the trailer and we'll draw water, or draw not water in this case, but we're going to draw the plumbing antifreeze through the lines, okay, through the pump right here. And uh, we'll attach it. I'll show you more, but we're going to attach it right around here. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to turn the pump on, and the pump will siphon uh, the antifreeze from the container um, through the pump. And uh, through this hose here, it will uh, it will fill our lines in the trailer. Now, before I before I do that, I what I do is is I take this water this water purifier off, which I don't know if you can see it or not. I took it off from right there, you just screw it off. And the reason for that is it's filled with water. And the would be plumbing line antifreeze go through it, but just to be safe, I pop it off, empty it, and what'll happen is it will fill with uh, plumbing antifreeze so that it won't crack. You don't wanna you don't wanna have a little mess on your hands when you come back to your trailer. So that's what this is here in the um, in the spring. So I'm gonna put that back on, hook up my hose to my pump. And we'll see you in a minute. So here we are. I've I've taken this water line off here. So this this goes right there, and I just back that off. And I'm going to take a hose, just a typical a hose that you would uh, have, that you'd see in your under your bathroom sink or kitchen sink. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to put it right there. I'll screw it on there. Uh, it's the same size fitting. And I'll take the other end and put it inside my plumbing antifreeze, and uh, we'll start. It takes about uh, 10 minutes, 5 minutes from here. It's really simple. Okay, I'll get that set up. So here we are. I have my hose hooked onto the pump. Okay, you can see it there. It's a little dark. And my plumbing antifreeze. And I have that in there. And I'm simply going to turn on my pump to prime the lines. And then I'll start opening some taps. But before I do that, I'm just going to pan over here. <coughs> and here is my hot water tank. Okay, and this is the way it looks. Here's my hoses. Yeah, there's the hot water tank and the styrofoam. And here are my hoses. And here are the way the uh, lines are set up in the summertime. And you can see that it's open going into here cold going in and hot coming out in the summertime and this one here is shut off because it's going to come in here it's going to bypass there uh, into the hot water tank sorry into the hot water tank where it heats and it's going to leave right there and it off it goes to the rest of the trailer now in the winter time when we went when we winterize the RV what you want to do is turn that 
perpendicular. Turn this one perpendicular because you do not want your plumbing line antifreeze going in there. It wouldn't hurt anything, but you just waste an awful lot of it. And we're going to turn this one this way here. So now it's the opposite. It's the opposite to what it was. And I call this, I've been doing this for so many years, it's, and you'll get used to this too, it comes uh, uh, second nature. But this is something that I, I did the first year I did it. I just kind of made up a little cheat sheet. So you can see, you know, just as a little reminder, it doesn't hurt. There it is there. The way this would look. I'll hold it up there. It's really clear. There. So you can see summer, winter, the way the lines look. And uh, that's just a little thing. I, I, I leave it in there, but I don't need it anymore. But that's certainly, first couple of years, I'd be looking at it and trying to figure it out, and it helped at the time. Easy part left. Find your pump. Turn it on, and you can hear it. You can hear it working. It's climbing the lines. Actually, what that's doing is, I'll just move so you can see it. It's filling up. Yeah, I already did it. You can see there, it filled up my water purifier that I took off before. Right, that's this thing. That's filled, lines are prime, it's shut off, and my hose is in. Okay, and that's just gonna siphon. And I'm gonna go and turn on some taps. See how easy this will get. And it turns pinky stuff. You can hear the pump clicking in. Okay, drawn from there. Pump is on. And we're gonna get pink. And we have pink there. And we'll turn this one on, turn each tap on. So you're not the pink. And we have pink. Well that shuts off. Now we go to the bathroom. And we do the same thing. Turn them on. Okay, pink. shower and what I'm gonna do is bring this down here just so you can see that look I'm just gonna run it there make sure it's turned it doesn't come back at me okay. see it's pink and that one Oops, shut that one off and on the other tap And there's lots of any trees there, as you can see. And not to forget your toilet. There's water running in that as well. And there she's pink. And we have one, one little note. This gasket goes right there. I just get a little knife or a screwdriver and you want to pop that out and you want to get a little bit of this is where your outside connection um, when you're hooking on your when you're hooking on to your water your city water so you want to get a little bit of plumbing line antifreeze coming through there too Oh, shoot. Get a little wet. There we go. Perfect. I don't know if you saw that. I got sprayed there a little bit. Once you see the pink. A little knife. Push that in. And otherwise, you will, like I have, be replacing that eventually in the spring. Let's see if I can get at it. Holding the camera. There. That'll spit out at you and release it and it should stop. You don't do that. Oh, oh that's still stuck. 
If you don't do that, then this will freeze. I might have to jig with it a little bit. I might have moved it too much there. And I'm just going to move over here, not to forget, if you have an outside shower, to do your outside shower. And when you're done with this whole process, you want to put back, remember this guy? You want to put him back in there, and we are done. So good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, and have a great day.